Good afternoon, Glow Academy students and staff and families. I certainly hope that you've had a terrific Thursday. I'm so grateful that today was warmer than yesterday, and it looks like the forecast has warmer days ahead for the weekend as well, which is great. Uh, one more day until we officially start spring break. Whoop, whoop. I know we're all ready for a little bit of a break, even though we're all home thanks to COVID-19. Glow students, it's really, really important that all of you have access to Wi-Fi and technology, a laptop, a Chromebook, a tablet, so that you can participate in GLOW Virtual Academy that's launching on April 14th and will last nine weeks uh, through the end of the school year. You have the option to check out a Chromebook from school in order to support your learning, but in order to do that, you've got to go online and register at one-to-one-risk.com. When you go to register online, you're going to need your power school number, so make sure you get get in contact with your leadership advisory teacher to make that happen. If you don't know it, don't worry. Reach out to your leadership advisory teacher or call me or get in touch with somebody at school because we need to make sure that you're signed up and ready to go. Today is Thursday, which means we have an IXL update. And ladies, last week, the leaderboard looked like this. First place was seventh grade, second place was eighth grade, third place was ninth, was sixth grade, and fourth place was ninth grade. Well, this week, that hasn't changed. First place this week is seventh grade, second place, eighth grade, third place, ninth, uh, sixth grade, and fourth place, ninth grade. But here's the deal. This week, all our grade levels have increased their total numbers of items answered substantially, which is great news. And eighth grade is so close to, to seventh grade. They are only 30 questions away from taking the lead. And I hear that Ms. Jones and Ms. D has thrown down a challenge for eighth graders to get over that hump. So seventh graders know the eighth grade is in the hunt. Ms. Tomlin says the following seventh graders have completed six math lessons to be part of this week's IXL Challengers. And that goes uh, to Zainab, Yadira, Afra, Ashley, Vanessa, Shakima, Cadence, Sarah, and Tessaya. Excellent job, ladies. There's two more days of the challenge, so we expect some other seventh graders to rise up and meet that, that goal. Ms. Herman says that each day she gives a challenge on Google Classroom, and yesterday Jessica accepted that challenge, and she measured the, in the area and perimeter of each room in her house and is building a two-scale house model. Well done, Jessica. She also wants sixth grade to know that Colby is a rock star and has already mastered 25 IXL standard areas. Excellent job, Ms. Colby. I want to give a big shout out to all the GLOW faculty and staff who are working extra special hard to make sure that we're ready to launch GLOW Virtual Academy uh, it, when we come back from spring break. Well done, GLOW faculty and staff. You guys are awesome. Now, I want to invite everybody to recite our sisterhood pledge with me this afternoon as we get ready to close out our school day. Join with me, please. We, the Sisterhood of GLOW, pledge to respect ourselves and each other's needs, be kind in all our words and deeds, have fun while learning, be lovingly honest, keep a positive attitude, and live with confidence. To achieve our goals, we use our minds, and we never leave a sister behind. We are strong. We are brave. We are the girls of GLOW Academy. Ladies, have a wonderful evening and a great day. This final day tomorrow before our spring break begins and reach towards that vision of high school graduation, college enrollment, and a lifetime of professional and personal success. We believe in you. We're here to support you. Have a wonderful evening and I'll see you tomorrow.